Hey y'all, welcome back to Kayla's Corner. Today I am reviewing Off-White's Black Diag Flat Bag. That was a whole ass mouthful. <laughs> but let's get right into it. So Off-White is Virgil Abloh's um, flagship company started in 2014. Uh, Virgil Abloh is a young black man from Illinois, not Chicago, just Illinois y'all, don't get it twisted. Um, but this is the bag. Hey y'all. And I just took it out of the dust bag. Nothing serious, just a standard baby blue, aquamarine, polyester, and polyamide dust bag. This is the bag itself. Let's get you a little close up here. So here we have off white print. I'm just gonna give you guys a look and then I'm going to go through with the specs. Excuse me, see all my fingerprints on it, huh? I'm touching it. <laughs> so, open the bag, open it, no strap, hang tags. So when you open it up, I'm gonna go through all this stuff. Just wanna give you guys a nice look first. Okay. So basically, getting into the bag, um, price point, how much does this cost? There is the exclusive and then the mini. This is the exclusive. The mini is about this size right here. Um, so the mini goes for $825 to about $910. The exclusive, this baby right here, goes from $1,100 to $1,300 retail. Um, Mine was, I wrote down the price here, $12.20 at Saks Fifth Ave. So that is the price. Um, yeah, don't really have any um, discounts or anything like that. Um, the bag is made out of Safiano leather. Fun fact about that, it is manufactured and patented by Prada. Um, so that was something that was created in their tanneries in Italy. So what Safiano leather means, this is the same leather used in all Prada bags as this little texture you can see right here. This is called cross hatching. So this is native to all of Prada's bags and used in some of Off-White's bags. So the great thing about Safiano leather is, is that it's more durable than regular leather and um, resistant to water, um, sunlight, things like that. It's different than regular leather because it is um, not vegetable tanned, which is usually uh, what companies used to get that like rich color that you're used to seeing. And it's not chrome tanned, which is when uh, companies use chromium sulfate to dye it. So with Safiano leather, you get your leather, um, then you dip it in an opaque resin. Opaque is just, you know, kind of clearish. And um, then you kind of get this like nice textured finish. The benefit of the resin is, like I said, it's pretty much kind of waterproof. Your leather will just last longer. So, um, yeah, getting into that. Yeah, so this is the bag. It has these detachable straps. It only has two. So the first one is this industrial sla uh, strap. Many of you may recognize it from Off-White's industrial belt. So this is what it matches with. I think it's upside down I can't tell but whatever um and I got this actually for as a uh, part of my birthday fit so I'll probably insert like a picture like right over here um yeah so just to go with the yellow off-white belt I was using here so more specs about this bag um the hang drop from the strap is about 39 inches so you get a nice little swing out of it um it comes with this other strap which is also Safiano leather I believe this might only be um, a 14 inch strap um, 14 inch hang drop um, this webbing right here all of this is also Safiano leather so all of this right here what happens is to get it on you will like slide it through I don't do this very often y'all uh, don't know I'm gonna show the whole process, but slide it through here. Ooh, super sturdy. Pop it open, slip it out. Do that on both sides to attach one. 
you will pop it open again, slip it through this gunmetal hardware, pop it in, which I struggle to do, and bam, you have a whole new strap. Uh, this is far more chic than the yellow one. The yellow one's a little bit gaudy if you ask me, but that's what we want. So more about this gunmetal hardware. Nice, clean finish. It's definitely not matte, but still looks really, really nice. Can't tell if you see that engraving at the end bottom. It says hex nut. For all our construction people out there, that is the shape of this grommet right here. So basically that's it. it says hex nut right here. And then at the top, probably can't see it, but um, it says off white right here. We have an off white plaque on the back. These are just the little things they do for authentication. And then what we have is the magnetic fastening. This over here is called post stud fastening. So this is post stud fastening right here. This is the magnetic fastening, same, just plain black, whatever, whatever. We have one zipper pocket in here. As you can see in regular off-white font, you have the words main label 2013, which is when uh, this was first manufactured. On the inside layer, it says off-white CO Virgil Abloh, defining the gray area between black and white as the color of off-white. So that's their, um, basically their mission statement, whatever you wanna call it. Um, yeah, so inside we have another off-white label right here. I believe this one just has uh, care instructions and a couple languages, very basic stuff like that. These are the famous hang tags. A lot of you guys like to disconnect them, hang them to your backpacks, uh, put them around your pants, cool stuff, good stuff. I'm pretty boring, I leave them in the bag. Um, so once again, these are just for authentication purposes. You just have the regular stripe, the same old CO Virgil Abloh, quotation marks hang tag, more manufacturing info, more manufacturing info, all tied together by that same aquamarine label. On the other side, we have just a regular pocket. And that's it, pretty standard for the bag. So I told you about most of the specs already, but just a couple more things. Um, so this is the Safiano leather, the dust bag itself is polyester and polyamide, which is just a polymer. Um, so basically it's just saying it's a synthetic fabric in the same family as like nylon and things like that. Um, used from one chain link amino acid. Can you tell I have a biology degree y'all? Yup. Is it worth the student loans? I don't know. Find out next time on Kayla's Corner. <laughs> um, but basically let's just get straight into the pros and cons. So pros, this is long lasting, like we said, durable, water resistant. You can have this for years to come. Um, another pro, uh, there's a lot of versatility with the straps. Like we said, we have two strap options instead of just being stuck with one. That's pretty nice. Uh, branding off, their stripe trucker print is basically their, their mainstay. Everybody knows it once you see it. Uh, if not, you have the words right here off. You know that how that goes so if you're one of those people that likes the the bigger gaudier brands this is for you to me it's still pretty low-key because it's just a stripe you never know you know it could go with a lot of things um it's somewhat minimalist just you know regular rectangle bag black um only the yellow adds color the white is just you know white the gunmetal hardware doesn't bring drag too much attention to it unless you get closer for detail and it's easy to style like you know you're wearing an all black fit here it goes all white fit here it goes want to add a pop of color with the industrial there you go very easy to style now the cons the price point now look y'all twelve hundred dollars for a bag like that's rent so only get it if you really want it because if you're not sure if you're gonna wear it like there's honestly no point I am all for supporting black business. We love Virgil Abloh out here on this side. So he can take all of my coins. He can take them twice, shit. But um, 
like I said, I got this from Saks Fifth Ave. You can also get it from Net A Porter. And I don't know how to pronounce this one. It's Sense, but it has two S's at the front. So S, Sense, whatever. Um, like we said already, the mini goes for $8.25 minimum. Um, and from what I've seen, I'm not sure if those are just like lightly used or whatever, but usually the price is about $900 with max being $9.10 for the mini, which once again, we, we said is only about three fourths of the size, but all the exact same specs other than that. Um, the straps are proportional on that one. So just a little bit shorter as well. So not really, um, a 14 or 40 uh, inch drop from the straps, like we said. Um, and then for this one, the exclusive, 1100 to 1300 I paid 1220 with Saks. Um, shipping was free, all that good stuff. I didn't keep the box because it was just their, their Saks box um, and it was really nothing special. Um, another con as far as price would be most times the sellers of this bag are British. So um, it's coming from Europe. Uh, not necessarily, although it's manufactured in Italy, you're not really buying it from Italy. Like, you're never going to really see a seller from Italy unless it's a personal person just selling their own. You know what I mean? Um, but this brand is heavy in the UK, London especially. So what you have here is when you're buying them online, especially from, um, like, bigger stores, like we said, Scents or even just Off-White themselves, it's like kind of like you're paying for that conversion rate you know in uh, England they use pounds over here it's USD with their their money being worth more than ours you're definitely paying their conversion fee because you travel abroad and this bag will cost however much it costs and just once you convert it you're you're definitely paying at least 110 more 110 more dollars so it's kind of like what's up you know whatever you want to do but um as, as long as it's authentic and you're getting the same quality, like why not try and get a lower price? Um, at the time that I bought it, I really needed it for my birthday. I didn't really have time to shop around. It was um, sold out on Off-White's official site. So I just went straight to um, Saks um, online, got that one there. But um, usually I believe Neiman Marcus uh, is a seller and Bergdorf Goodman. Bergdorf Goodman usually has everything. So you should be able to find this all through here. Um, going back to other cons, like we said, scarcity. This can be very hard to find, especially as Off-White launches new seasons. It's like they kind of follow the trend with Yeezy, just like every time Yeezy drops a new cycle, it's like Off-White is on the same, the same wave. So it's kind of harder to find these uh, quote unquote older seasons, even though they continue to sell them, it becomes harder and harder because I'm pretty sure they stopped manufacturing these. This is from 2013 i'm sure this one was created after 2013 but just saying like that's when it first started and here you are now um so another con this hype beast nature a lot of people don't consider off white off white like a like a true luxury designer brand the price point is there i feel as though the quality is there i've never had a problem with their quality it lasts just like everything else but um just from the bright colors to their like out of box style and just because it's so new it's from 2014 so it's only about 2014 2013 like early 2000s off-white is what less than 10 years old so yes it um a lot of people argue it can't compete with the louis vuittons and the fendis and whatever whatever you know what i like it there's always room for innovation i don't care um next con a lot of people don't like Safiano leather. It's weird because it's like, we love Prada, but they hate this material. Um, mostly because a lot of people don't like this cross hatching, like we said. They think it's way too much texture. Um, and then a lot of, it's mostly older people. There's some haters. It's basically that um, because the leather doesn't require so much care and maintenance like shining and constant cleaning and things like that and because you don't immediately have to wipe it wipe off water when it touches it you're allowed to like leave this out in the sun without it immediately deteriorating they think like oh like this must not be real leather this must not be that great it's great it is real leather it just is what it is um after a couple years after brushing up against hard surfaces this 
material will start to chip but like I said I've had no issues so far it is new it's less than a year old but that's what happens with any bag and any fabric honestly so why hate they think it looks a little bit plasticky to me I don't see that to me this still looks like leather yes it does hold a lot of fingerprints but I don't know wipe it off you paid for it just just just, just clean it man um so that's pretty much it other than that, I think I mentioned everything that I feel is relevant, but once again, the off-white bag, I won't be like standing up and modeling it for you guys. If you guys want a lookbook, I can do that. Just let me know in the comment section. But like we said, thank you guys for watching this video. Greatly appreciate all the support. Oh, I did forget something. This comes with a binder clip. It is called, it's also called the binder clip bag, so right here says off-white oops clean that off a little bit dang don't look at my nails y'all says off-white right there regular gunmetal binder clip and how that goes is pull it right here just pull it down basically on both sides and you clip it onto the bag that is it I never use it I never ever use it that's why it doesn't you know it's not relevant to me but it is technically called the binder clip bag as well so there you guys have it this is my off-white review i like it i think if you can you should go out and get it only if you want to i'm not gonna bully you into buying it but uh you guys have a wonderful day please like and subscribe and let me know what videos you guys want to see like i'm down for anything q q a story times more unboxings you let me know like i'm it's for you it's for you just stop to me <laughs> bye bye guys Whoop.